Pop your melanin, girlfriend. Pop your melanin. Pop your melanin, girlfriend. Pop your melanin. Girl, you black. And you beautiful. Girl, you black. And you beautiful. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to Couch Conversations with Sasha Love. I'm your host, Sasha Love. And today, we're going to have a conversation about conflict. Now, how many of you guys love having conflict and enjoy confrontation? Well, I'm not here to judge whether you like it or not, but I can speak for myself. It's not a comfortable feeling. It's not fun and I don't enjoy it. However, the older I get, the more I realize that conflict is inevitable in life. Whether it's with strangers, whether it's in a professional setting, or whether it's someone that you are truly comfortable and vulnerable with, conflict will arise. But are you fighting fair? So this conversation actually came up from a Zoom topic that was shared with a group of us in a group chat. And it got me thinking about what are some elements that I've come to learn are important to making sure that we fight fair. Or in other words, what are some tools, what are some things I can remember when I'm engaging in some sort of conflict with someone, whether it's someone that I'm really close with in my personal life, whether it's someone in my professional life, whether it's a complete stranger, what are some tools that I am learning to implement to handle conflict in a more effective way? Number one, know what you're fighting about. Oftentimes when someone does something, especially when it's something small and we have a blowout reaction or we're suddenly super angry, nine times out of 10, the reason why we feel that way is because that small action is a reflection of other things or something deeper. Sometimes that action is a reflection of feeling unwanted and it's just a physical or a behavioral reinforcement to that thought. Other times, it's purely the action. Maybe it is something that someone literally just did that just rubbed you the wrong way. Regardless of the case, take a moment. It doesn't have to take forever, but take a moment to know what you are fighting about. Number two, know what weapons you're bringing to the table. Sometimes when we fight, we come in with our own ill intentions. I'm coming to this fight so that I can prove that I was right. I'm coming to this fight to make sure I get an apology. I'm coming to this fight because I'm entitled to feeling justified for my behaviors or I'm entitled to a complete explanation for why he acted that way and why he thought that was okay. While it isn't the worst thing in the world to want those things, when, you're, when we're going into a conflict or an argument or discussion, it's important to keep in mind, though, what we're bringing to the table. Because if we're not aware that we're bringing all of these things with us, all these intentions, or maybe even our past hurts, our preconceived notions, our preconceived judgments, it can further make the conversation um, unproductive. It can make the disagreement last longer than it should, and potentially create more problems than solutions whenever you guys come together to talk it out. The third thing is knowing what side you're fighting on. So whenever there's a relationship involved, especially a very, very close friend, um, someone who is very meaningful to you, a marriage, a spouse, it's important to know what side you're fighting on. When we're in relationship with people and we encounter a conflict, it's very easy to think it's me versus her, me versus him, me versus them. It's a me versus somebody or something. And when you go into an argument, me against her, it may be harder to reach a solution that benefits both of you guys. Instead, if the relationship is meaningful for you and it's a relationship you desire to maintain, 
consider this instead. Consider thinking, you know what? I actually want to fight on the same side. I want to fight on the side of preserving this relationship. What if you realize when you think about it, you're actually fighting on the opposite side? Well, maybe in the conversation that you have when you guys are discussing this particular argument or this conflict, that's something to bring up. That, hey, you know, I'm not sure if this relationship is worth fighting for. And I want to be honest and transparent about that. So that was the third thing. And the last thing is know when to walk away. Sometimes when we encounter disagreements or conflicts or situations that we are unhappy with or that we find very frustrating, that make us very angry, we also have to learn to use wisdom and discernment to know which fights are worth having. I'll give you an example. I was having a conflict with one of my advisors and I was unsure of whether or not to move forward. And when I took some time to reflect on the situation, I realized that bringing up this conversation would probably cause more harm than good. It's not that I minimized how I felt or what I experienced to be like, oh, it's not a big deal, I'm moving on. No, I chose to work on the part that I had a role in, on my role in the situation and work on that, work on myself and let it go. That was my particular experience. For someone else, they may have seen that situation and said, you know what, no, that's not something I would ever let go. And that's okay, we're all different. We all approach things in a different way. As long as you know when to wisely discern whether or not it's worth pursuing an argument or a fight about something. Will it cause more harm than good? Am I just pursuing this argument because I'm mad about something else in my, in my life? What is my goal with having this conflict, with having this fight, this discussion? And can I reach the solution by just doing something differently that may not even involve the other party. Are you fighting fair? Are you handling conflicts well or effectively? Because let's be honest, conflicts are conflicts. They're not perfect. They're not pretty. And honestly, a lot of us should just do the best that we can to try to get through it. And hopefully these four tips will be helpful in navigating conflicts that you do encounter, whether it's in your personal life, professional life, or otherwise. And as a summary, the four tips. Number one, know what you're fighting for. Number two, know which side you're fighting on. Number three, know what you're bringing to the table. And last but not least, know whether or not a fight is worth having. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And until next time, take care. And hopefully you'll learn to fight fair. <laughs>